Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Robot Arena, Banter Wars US, Season 2, Round 9. Okay, we're going to have uh, another set of battles today. We're going to preview the bots, and after that, I think we're going to also have a, um, a rundown on a new bot that was sent in by Bad Wolf Gamer. And that's going to be um, Dungeon uh, Master, I think, or hang on for a second, so I think I have the name wrong. Let's not do that. Dungeon Keeper, okay. First, we're going to go ahead and look at today's contestants. It's going to be Easter Bunny. We'll go down there and get into the uh, bot lab and listen to them hammer away at the bot sound. But there is going to be a um, another round here. We're going to get all the, uh, the bots that did not win in a secondary match. And then we'll have a, um, a grudge match with the winner of the secondary bouts versus the actual winner of the main events. So here we go. Let's take a look at Easter Bunny. It's a middleweight. Uh, it has a... Uh, Smart zone. Let's go ahead and get rid of the smart zone so it doesn't get in the way of our analyzing bot. It has uh, two DD two two DDT first motors, and they're attached to a couple samurai. Well, a couple samurai swords were attached to them. Interesting looking bot. Two uh, high power Z Tech motors. Two shiny hub wheels. Two super roll motors. Control units on top. Two of everything here. Very nice. Let's take a look at Cassie. Good paint job. Let's not kill it. All right. Let's go back to the headquarters. Oh, hang on. And our next guy is going to be the Observer Bot. Aha! We've all seen him in action before. And he has two. Oh, this is an interesting design. I like this. Motors are reversed, that means all the controls had to be reversed. That's very clever, very, very, and not easy to do, too. You have to work everything backwards. Okay. Two rubber wheels. These are, of course, the uh, Z-Tech high power motors. Two rearward facing iron spikes. Two overlapping small wedge shovels for nice lifting power. Two small battery packs. And looks like two large super bolts. Lower we got the rubber wheels well, very uh, straightforward design, very nice. The Banter Warriors original observer bot. And our next guy's gonna be Croco Jaw. An interesting looking beast. Oh hang on for a second. We didn't do something. There we go, he's in the bot. Alright. I like the design, this is good looking. And let's go back to Croco Jaw. Get rid of the uh, smart zone. We can do that here because the bots are in the lab and we can put it back on, take them off. It's no big deal. Alright. He has two large Super Bowl batteries. Four mini wheels. Four reverse angle motors for drive. These are usually used for um, uh, weapons and whatnot, but can be used for, for drive, which is okay. Basically, anchors. Uh, bear claws and a downward striking arrangement of T connectors with pointy tips mounted to a snap two burst motor. I like it. Very clever. And also, here it looks like it has a tail. There's a uh, downward facing pulse spike mounted to a base plate motor on an angle connector. Nice. It's not uh, worth the armor. Aluminum. And the other team is going to be 180 over her overturned tiger. Now I've heard a lot about this guy and seen him in action. Very tough machine, very nice sign. Heavyweight. And what do we have here? We have gas bottles, two CO2 tanks, four tiny hub wheels, two uh, four Z Tech high power motors. Looks like this only has one battery pack. Nice. It's a little risky to have only have one battery, but it's, it's a good design. It's very, very well protected. So, two forward-facing razor tips attached to two burst pistons. So this guy goes out and stabs the heck out of you. I've seen it just knock wheels off. In one of the original Banter Wars um, series, um, uh, one of my bots was in that, and it, this thing just ate a little alive. It was terrible. <laughs> okay, good looking bot. Let's see, see what his chassis is like. Nice design. 
Steel. Well, no wonder it's so mean. It's a steel devil. Look at that thing. Huh. There's something to be a little bit worried about, folks. Our next guy's going to be Ellie the Elephant. This looks really familiar. I believe this could be a rework of one of the um, house bots. And if not, it's a very clever and good thing to sign. Stick with the units. There's two forward facing spike strips. One samurai sword. Two slipper bottom wheels. Two mini wheels. They're mounted to reverse angle motors. It seems to only have one 12 volt battery. And it has a couple of ballast packs in the rear here. I usually would replace ballast packs with more battery power or anything with ballast. Ballast to me is just a waste. But that's just my personal opinion as a builder. Okay, Ellie the Elephant. Let's take a look at the chassis. And it's steel. Okay, well that's nice. At least it's a solid little beastie. And our final contestant is going to be four. It's a heavyweight. Let's see what we have here. Has a Z-Tech motor mounted up, facing um, skyward. A bunch of batteries. A uh, small bunch of small battery packs here. Um, one mini wheel mounted on one red rear motor, and another one mounted in the opposite direction, so it spins. Pretty cool. This is an interesting design. Also has a large uh, super bolt. Has four iron spikes mounted on square extenders, angled very nicely all attached to a disc. Okay, let's take a look at the chassis. And it's made of titanium. Alright, we're getting <coughs> excuse me, we're getting a little bit of a mix here. Alright, and um, before we start the actual main event, wrong button here. Let's take a look at the dungeon cable real quick. Uh, we did a little, um, the, the house designers did a little tiny bit of work on this because the self writing mechanism was not functioning correctly. We had permission from the designer, Bad Wolf Gamer, this is his entry, um, to add a free mech. Uh, so we're going to have this guy in a little exhibition match, and we're going to test match to test to see how well it works, and that'll be after the main event. So we'll take a quick look at the uh, components four buzzard wheels, four G Tech motors. Two large revolt batteries. Um, the house designers added two snap snap burst motors, with two mount extenders, and two small wedges. And we use the small wedges for, um, uh, I guess you, huh, what, what, what word am I looking for here? For resistance. So they, there's more there's more area when you snap when you try to self right the motor. So which one is it here? From there. There we go. And we also um, use the Shremac to. Uh, to, to bring the hammer down so it doesn't hang up. At any rate, we hope this works. Um, it, it did seem to function in one of the one of the really short tests we had. Uh, okay, and we'll finish our test here. As our finish our announcement, so an emergency clipper, a DDT mounted to a DDT first motor, an ice pick, a round extender, and that's mounted to another snap tube burst motor. So it's a very nice design, robust, good looking, let's take a look at the chassis. And it's made of steel, so it's a big beast. And um, we've already tested it's pretty nimble too. Um, so we hope that um, uh, the slight slight um, uh, upgrade we gave it um, is indeed an upgrade and, and does not hurt the bot. So we'll find out later in, in the test match and we'll be testing him against our type. But that'll be after the main event. And we'll be right back in just a few minutes. But I hope all the noise from noise from the all the noise down there from the builders isn't bothering you guys because there's quite quite a quite a lot of activity going down there rebuilding some of the bots have been torn to bits. So um, we'll be back in just a bit. I'm going to move back for the main <laughs> with the main event in just a minute. Well, we're just about ready for the main event. They've got the bots wheeled into the arena. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing started. We have Easter Bunny, Observer Bot, and Croco Jaw. And we will be in the Claw Top Arena. The hazards are all set to go. And this should be a lot of fun, folks. So here we are. Let's uh, start this right about now. And they're turning the faces. Easter Bunny takes a strike and is striking again at the Observer Bot. Croco Jaw takes a hit at the Observer Bot. The Observer Bot doesn't like this. He's pushing Easter Bunny onto the hazards. The bunny may get baked if it doesn't get out of there. But it is doing a little bit of damage with its two swords. Croco Jaw is taking strikes at, East, at um, Observer Bot. There's a countdown going here. There's a lot of smoke coming from Easter Bunny who's been 
knocked up but has landed back on his feet and looks like observer bot has been destroyed wow wasn't expecting that okay so it looks like it's croco jaw and easter bunny it's like easter bunny's suffering a lot of damage and set on fire <laughs> and it's in big trouble looks like croco jaw is going to finish him off for any time now and they're in the house hazards. The house hazard has been activated, and Easter Bunny's lost a sword and been electrocuted. Another couple hits should end Easter Bunny. He's badly burning now, sparking fire. This is terrible. But he's still moving in. Give Easter Bunny all the credit. Well, he's trying to pin Croco Jaw. There's a countdown going here. There's a what, what's happening? There's a countdown going. Four seconds left. Is Easter Bunny going to win this by this pinning? Oh my. A clever move by the almost destroyed Easter Bunny. Wow, we weren't expecting that. We thought for sure Croco Jaw would simply finish him off and it would be the end. Well, a surprise ending. Easter Bunny wins this one. Okay, we'll be right back with the next bout. Well, that was quite a nice battle. Easter Bunny goes through and we weren't expecting it. It was so badly damaged we expected that it would simply break down from the... It was on fire. We thought at any time now the battery pack would explode and that would be the end of it. But it, uh... The drivers performed a clever maneuver and pushed Crocker Jaw into the corner and got its wheels off the ground, pinned it, and had a count out. And won the battle. Very, uh, very, very well done. Okay, the next contestants are going to be... Open... What was this? 180 Overturn Tiger, Ellie the Elephant, and four. And after the, this, we're going to have an exhibition bout just featuring um, the uh, dungeon keeper and see how well it performs. It's just a performance test, but it's going to be in the next in the next tournament. So we hope this uh, this uh, these um, add-ons work. So at any rate, let's get get these guys in, into the arena here and get this bout started. Okay, Ellie the Elephant is turned and is facing Overturned Tiger who's coming in and pushing underneath Ellie the Elephant. Four is spinning up its weird looking spinning weapons. Looks like Ellie the Elephant is on top of Overturned Tiger who is backed away and having none of that. Looks like Ellie the Elephant and Four are going after each other. Tiger has moved back in. A few hits from that thing. Oh, he's knocked a wheel off of Ellie the Elephant. I think two wheels have come off and Ellie the Elephant has gone out of the arena. Oh no, Overturn Tiger is on the hazard, on the house hazard, and that's it. That's it. We weren't expecting that. We expected Overturn Tiger to win that one. Wow. Ellie Elephant is torn apart, detusked, and thrown out of the arena. And Overturn Tiger is stuck on the claw on the claw and then thrown out. And four wins this one with a uh, little trouble. Okay, we'll be right back with our um, our last test. Well, we weren't quite expecting that. We really thought that Overturn Tiger, 180 Overturn Tiger, would win that. But well, those house um, hazards, they really do uh, get in your way sometimes and can dictate a battle. All right, well, we're going to have our final um, match and exhibition, just a test, to see how well the, um, the self-writing mechanism works and how well um, uh, Dungeon Keeper holds up against uh, a very formidable flipper bot, our type. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we have them all set up, they're ready to go, so let's go ahead and get these guys in the combat arena. We'll be in the combat arena. This is a uh, we uses for tests, I believe you don't get thrown out of the arena. And um, we can make sure all, all the weapons and everything work. So let's get this going. May the strongest bot win. Hey, a nice hit by both bots. Looks like our type is moving in with his flippers and keeping Dungeon Keeper off, a little bit off balance there. Dungeon Keeper is trying to turn around. It does have formidable weapons pack. And it's trying to employ that um, spike there. And our type is just going mad with the flippers, trying to get underneath Dungeon Keeper. There's some hits here going. I hear some hits. There's some, some strikes by that uh, spike, which are, seem to be working pretty good. Okay, let's see if these... Yep, it seems like the, the self-writing self mechanism is trying to work. Yes, it does work. There we go. Okay, Dungeon Keeper self-writing mechanism works. And the test is um, looking real good here, folks. Back to the battle. Looks like a Dungeon Keeper is employing that spike pretty good there. Nice hit on the chassis of R-Type. R-Type is suffering now. Having a hard time uh, getting his wheels under it. 
as that Dungeon Keeper is keeping him off balance. Another good hit by Dungeon Keeper. Another. Some smoke and damage. Another hit on the bottom of our type. Uh, looks like Dungeon Keeper is really controlling this bout. This is just about over. Another hit by that spike will be the end. Oh, well, almost. Our type is destroyed. Okay, well, that was a good test. We'll be right back with the finals. Okay, folks. There you have it. That was round nine. Banter Wars, U.S. Okay, our winners for today were Easter Bunny, Porus, and Four. And the test with uh, Dungeon Keeper worked pretty good there. He seems to be uh, a very functional bot. And um, the real test will be when he's in there with um, all of his, uh, all, all the other uh, robots. And we'll see what happens in, in the future if he makes it by. At any rate, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this tournament um, so far. It's been a lot of fun making it. And there's still quite a lot to go. Uh, many, many bots are left. Um, still, there's a lot, a lot of teams left to, to, to run through. And then we'll have um, a bunch of preliminaries. And we're going to have a loser's bracket. Um, yes, it should be, uh, should be quite a lot of fun. Okay, we'll be back with the next round real soon. We'll see you guys in, uh, in a bit.